Gurmagat Kangorla Tishuk. This weekend brought more very bad news for workers and families struggling to buy a home. Media reports quoted a series of housing experts predicting continued housing uh, price hikes. And this echoes similar commentary from the governor of the central bank last week. One economist said of our housing market that it is on fire. Another warned that house prices could reach Celtic Tiger levels. A third expressed the concern that house prices could continue to rise for the next four years. All of this, of course, Taoiseach, an indictment of your government's failed policies. Last Thursday at Leader's Questions, my colleague Pierce Doherty uh, raised with your Taunish the Leo Varadkar the issue of rising house prices. And by way of response to Taunish that said that house prices are cheaper than they were 14 years ago and that in any event people were in a position to borrow more. In other words, to amass more debt. Taoiseach, this approach would only increase house prices further. And you have to ask, has the Taunishta learned nothing from the last 10 years? Does he not understand that more credit will mean more house price inflation? Does he not understand that more credit means more debt for workers and families and more expensive housing? Does he not understand that increased debt means greater risk of mortgage default, of repossession and in worst case circumstances perhaps homelessness. Taoiseach, yesterday I spoke to a family in Rings End and there were three generations living in one home and they're by no means unique. But let me talk about this family. One of the family members, a young woman, 35 years old with a really good job, had just moved back into her mother's home for the fifth time. Because of your failed policies, this woman and countless thousands like her feel that their lives are on hold, a whole generation left in the same situation. This woman and people like her don't need unsustainable levels of debt forced upon them. They simply need to put a roof over their heads. She needs a genuinely affordable home for her and her family. So Taoiseach, I want to put it to you. Do you agree with the Taunishta that house prices should increase further? That workers and families should go further into debt? Do you think that's acceptable? Or do you accept that house prices are too high? Do you accept that heaping even greater debt on workers and families will force prices up and will not bring them down? Because all of this scenario, as it unfolds again, a housing crisis again, smacks very strongly of the bad old days of Fianna Fáil in power. A housing system designed and delivered, not for ordinary people, not for families, not for workers, no, no, designed and delivered by and for developers. And the banks too, of course, get their pound of flesh and line their pockets. Can you clarify for us, Taoiseach, where you stand? Do you stand with your Taunish, the Leo Varadkar, who takes the laissez-faire approach that people should simply borrow more and buy more expensive housing? Or do you accept that we have a crisis and we need to deliver affordable housing? Thank you, Deputy MacDonald. Taoiseach, please. Well, I'd like to ask deputies, where do you stand? Uh, your, I just listened to your soundbite after soundbite, slogan after slogan, which is really all about electioneering, isn't it? Um, and the reference to Ring's End is no accident, obviously. Uh, we've all been out and about. I'm very conscious of the huge issue that housing is. I've said it repeatedly in this house that housing is a crisis. This government is uh, just about 12 months in office, dealing with a global pandemic. A pandemic which unfortunately has impacted on house building in 2020 uh, by about 5,000 houses that we could have got built if, if there wasn't the lockdowns in 2020. And the lockdown in 2021 has impacted on us as well. But that said, the government has been very focused on building more houses, 
getting more supply into the market, which is the key issue, and also doing it in, in a way that we can make it affordable uh, for people um, in, in particular. Now, you know the figures about 3.3 billion has been allocated for housing alone in, in, in 2021. But essentially, uh, the minister has, is introducing a new shared equity scheme, which will help uh, people uh, in terms of affordability. Uh, and the government also um, enhanced the help to buy scheme um, last year. Now, that helped about 22,000 buyers get on the property ladder. That's 22,000 people who benefited from that scheme, yet you opposed that scheme. And you come in here then and lecture everybody else about affordability and trying to make housing affordable. You cannot have it both ways, uh, Deputy, in respect uh, to your stance um, on housing. You seem to want to exploit it to win votes, but you come up with very little solutions to it. And you oppose every single measure that government introduces to try and make housing affordable. So you're opposing the affordable uh, housing bill and the measures that the minister is introducing, uh, not just in terms of, of, of sh shared equity, but also in terms of the enhancement of the Service Sites Fund, uh, which will involve uh, the state providing uh, thousands of new homes o o over the next year or two in terms of affordable um, homes. And who, the extension and expansion of Part 5 of the Planning Act uh, and, and, and designating a range of homes for first-time um, buyers. The new first-ever cost rental scheme will, will be introduced by the Minister, providing up to 400 units, and that will be ex expanded significantly in 2022 um, and beyond. We've brought about 2,500 uh, voids back into use very, very quickly through the July stimulus funding um, of last year. Uh, the Land Development, a Development Agency Bill is going through the Oireachtas, uh, and that will provide additional capacity uh, through this agency uh, to get more houses built, both affordable houses and social um, houses. Uh, and again, the, the, the initial portfolio for the Land Development Agency can potentially provide up to 4,000 homes to 2025, yet you oppose that um, also. Homelessness in the last 12 months, family homelessness has decreased by 39% uh, on the total recorded uh, in March 2020. It's the lowest number of families in emergency accommodation since February uh, 2016. Now, that in a short space of time, that represents very, very significant progress um, by the Minister uh, in relation uh, to, to this issue. And in sharp contrast, the Minister is using every possible opportunity, a suite of measures a number of affordable measures, a strong social housing program uh, to try and get extra supply into the market. On the, on the, in contrast to that, you're opposing all the affordability measures that have been introduced to date uh, and, and to be introduced into, in, in, in the coming while. And also on the ground, you've been opposing many, many housing projects that are shovel ready. Hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of houses have been refused, been rejected by your party, and you've opposed them. Um, and, and which, in my Keep view, patient. is completely inconsistent uh, with the stance that you take here in the House. Deputy MacDonald. Uh, well, attacking Sinn Féin for a housing crisis that you created demonstrates just how threadbare your approach is. The story uh, that I told you of the woman and the family in Ring's End isn't a sound by Taoiseach. It's the truth. It's the reality that they are living. And you find that reality echoing right across Dublin Bay South. And you are on the doors, and you'll hear it too. In Sandy Mount and in Pier Street, in Irish Town, in Harold's Cross, in Ranala, in Ratgar. Always the same. And yet you are so out of touch, touch with the harsh realities. You cite a shared equity scheme as evidence of your attendance to affordability matters. The very scheme that has been slammed and criticised by experts across the board, not just by Sinn Féin. Because it's not the answer. The answer is, Taoiseach, to double capital investment for the state to really step forward, to deliver 20,000 public homes every year to meet social and affordable need. And that's not just Sinn Féin's view either. Thank the ESRI Deputy. support that view. Yesterday, the National Treasury Management Agency now, added Deputy, their voice to this call. So if you're serious about it, and I urge you to get serious quickly on this, can you confirm that you are up to that task? Thank you, Deputy Tish. Young people I have met and continue to meet want to be able to buy a house at an affordable price. Yet you oppose every measure, not just the one mentioned in terms of equity, but every measure 
The Help to Buy scheme helped 22,000 people to buy homes. Yet you opposed it and you continue to oppose it. The Minister has also introduced a new affordable purchase scheme with the state directly building affordable homes as well, in addition uh, to help to buy uh, and shared equity. Yet you have opposed that as well. Uh, and on the ground then, where we had a mix of housing projects, particularly in Dublin City, uh, with over 1,200 uh, in North Dublin, you oppose the building of those 1,200 houses, and likewise hundreds more in Talla, Kandokan, and elsewhere. It just doesn't stack up, Deputy, that you seem to think that you can come in here day after day and attack everybody else in this house in respect of housing and getting more houses built when you no, no, consistently, you, when you consistently no oppose but your project after for its project incompetence for, for whatever and its reason failure and your of an fundamental entire generation of people seems shame on you option, that your objective now. is to exploit the housing situation exploit it for your own gain for Thank your own you, electoral gain. It's party up. before the country all the time with Sinn Féin. Thank you very That's much. That's unfortunately the truth in terms of your political operation. We need to move on.